Hello, 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 and welcome to my video call. My name is Chad Allen, and I am a registered nurse with a master's degree in nursing informatics. And today we are going to be discussing about why it is important to have family time, spending time with your family, and why it's smart and healthy for you to do. And before I get started, I just want to uh, welcome you to my blog so you can go to chadallen.net c-h-a-d-a-l-l-a-n.net and you can also get my freebie there uh, chadallen.net slash freebie f-r-e-e-b-i-e and there you, uh, you can learn all about what I do as far as uh, health and how I take care of my own health so why is it important to spend time with your family and why is it smart and why is it being healthy so you know we in this labor day we have an extra day of off of work or well, those who are blessed to have an extra day of an extra off day then a lot of times what happens is we tend to not spend the time so much time with our family because we get so used to work we get so used to our hobbies and other things and we begin to neglect our family and begin to do the things that are not very beneficial for our family so what happens is that we tend to uh, put our family to the side and the next thing we know is that our, our spouse is unhappy our children are unhappy they're always asking us to, to be with them but because we are so in tune to our hobby or so in tune to our our work that we're working on our off day and we're doing things that uh, we should not be doing. And we're not really setting aside a specific time for uh, that particular family activity. And so I want to give a little bit uh, some statistics uh, that I know of personally uh, whether or not group really be statistics but this but you can find these statistics if you do the research and then also I want to give you some thoughts on why it's important for you to spend time and also give you some general ideas of what you can do uh, as also to help improve your family uh, situation especially if you are having issues of really trying to find that uh, commonality uh, that you used to have with your spouse and with your kids. Now, if you ever thought about uh, when you first got married, or let's say that you are a, uh, a single parent, or maybe you're not married at all, but so I want so you'll those who are not yet married but are getting ready to get married you'll know what I'm talking about and those who are married and you also will know what I'm talking about because you used to be that way so oftentimes what happens is when we become married we uh, develop we develop our families we start having children that kind of thing and then we have one kiss two kiss three kiss like that and and the, the rigors of family uh, building and growing our family becomes uh, a becomes front and center in most of our of our life. You know, we go to work, we come home, you know, we're, we're, spo we're supposed to be with the family, but a lot of times we're so tired. Is there like, how'd you leave us alone? Because we're so sleepy. We just need to rest for about five, ten minutes, whatever. But it ends up being the rest, rest of the night. And we begin, and that's why we begin to neglect because we're, we're so tired from our daily activities that we, uh, we begin to neglect our children who are in our spouse who are really uh, asking for our, our time. So how can we uh, fix all of that? How can we change all of that? Well, then you might say, well, you know, my family is hell. And when I come home, it's a, it's a complete joke. 
my my husband or wife is always nagging at me always coming down on me on everything and my children are always trying to uh get my attention and the house is is a complete uh it's completely uh ransacked and i can't do anything i need i'm so tired i'm so sleepy so i want to ask you for those who think that their family is pretty much a living hell when they come home and they can't stand uh, being around uh, them because they're whatever for whatever reason and I will say this that it's really your choice to, to feel that way it's really your choice to react in the way that uh, that is negative and once you make a, a decision to be positive and have a positive outlook and to see things in a way that it would be, you know, for, as a Christian would be Christ honoring, then you will begin to, to have a different perspective on things. For example, and I'll give you, and I'll give you an example. You come home. And the first thing uh, that happens is that your wife is nagging at you to, honey, I really need help with this. How can you help help me with the kids? Honey, you did this, did this, you know. And but you just got home. You're so tired. You just want to have time for your five minutes to yourself. So what do you do in that situation? In most cases, if you are not well grounded in how you respond. Uh, to that particular situation, you you will end up blowing up. You will end up getting angry, and you will and you will say something is uh, that's going to be reactionary to that particular situation. So when let's say your wife is saying, "Honey, I need this. I need that. Honey, uh, you didn't do this. Honey, you didn't do that. Honey, how come this? How come that?" And you're like, like, just shut up for a moment, please. I, I just need my time. You know, I'm so sick and tired of this crap. Every time I come home, there is uh, this. The dishes not clean. This is not done. This is this is this. Is. And then what happens is that you begin you alienate your 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 spouse, and then she or he becomes very uh, distant, begins to separate. That quote unquote love that you had uh, become. Uh, it begins to become uh, much more uh, dull. So it's because of how you react it, right? So what if you came home in that same situation and you stated, "Oh, honey, you know, I really, I really understand. Uh, would it be okay if I just have, you know, five minutes just to kind of." Uh, relax just to you know regroup and then I will help you with the dishes and I'll help you with this or help you with the kids I'll help you know put the kids to to bed or help you know uh, give a bath to the kids that kind of thing so it's a different kind of perspective right and it's a different kind of reaction that you know, that takes place one reaction is very negative and it's because you don't want to do something but your uh, spouse is asking you for help. And why why is your spouse asking for help? Well, they're also very, very overwhelmed in everything that is going on. And so they are looking for your attention. They are looking for your, your, uh, they're looking for, for your help, you know, the helping, helping hand. And in many cases, most families, when it comes to uh, wanting to be with you, it's not so much that you're doing the activities like uh, cleaning the house. I mean, those are important things. Don't get me wrong. You know, washing the dishes, etc. It's really about doing things together. Uh, knowing that the person that you are, love is also uh, there as a as a helping hand. You know, you're there. They feel relief. And so they they're not feeling as overwhelmed. So it's it's the same thing. It's the same thing with your kids. You know, you get home and your kids are jumping all over you. You're like, oh my goodness, please! I just need five minutes. You know that kind of thing. 
But instead of instead of being negative about that, instead of be like you know reactionary towards your children, maybe you you will accidentally yell at them or make them feel bad. Or you mean, you know, a lot. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, parents who are really stressed, or they would really, um, you know, degrade their children. They will they will say something negative, and it makes and it and it really attacks their identity as a person oh you're so stupid oh you're so this or you're so that and it's, and, it, it's ha- and it attacks their identity and but what the what you should what the parent should say is like honey uh or you know whoever name or would it be okay if i just take a minute or two just to kind of calm down just kind of relax and then after that let's uh we, we'll, we'll play. Well, what do you want to play? That kind of thing, you know, or so, you know, how about I just uh, put you on my lap while we and we can relax together, you know, and, you know, kids want, especially the small kids, kids want to be, a, to be, to have that attention. They want to have that touch. They want to have that, that feeling that you are there with them and that you care about them. Of course, as kids get older, when they get become teenagers and you really gonna have to listen you know, and not be that kind of, ah, uh, you know, it's like, you kind of judge them right off the bat, you just, you just kind of listen, and then, you know, it'd be a blessing, and so those are some things that I've learned uh, in my own family, uh, and also in my own relationship as my, as a spouse, so, again, you go to chatdown.net, C-H-A-D-A-L-L-A-N.net, and you can also get my freebie there, chatdown.net slash freebie, or if you're into business, uh, chatallen.net slash five dash reasons, R-E-A-S-O-N-S. And so let's get back to what we are talk, you know, discussing. So we talked about the negatives of, of a family. And when we, when we say that our family is uh, a living hell, you know, it's really because of your own reactionary stance on things, right? Of course, there are exceptions. There's always exceptions to the rule. But when we are, when we look at things in a negative light, we will always attract things that are negative. So when we are looking at our our wife or, or her husband, if you're a woman, and, or your children, and you are looking at them negatively, and then of course, uh, everything that they do, everything that they say, it's gonna be it's gonna be very stressful to you. And then nothing that you do, nothing that they do, is ever gonna be right. So we need to, so there needs to be a change of, of perspective and a change of attitude when it comes to those the, those type of things. Now let's say you come home, and Let's say that your family is like, oh, I, I really like, I really like coming home to my family, and stuff like that. But what happens is we pay more attention to our, our work. Well, you're not giving the attention to your wife. You're not giving the attention to your children. And then we need, like, when we if we come home from work, uh, then we need to be detached from work completely. You know, because. At the end of the, at the end of the day, your family wants your attention. They need your attention. They need your um, they need you to be there. They need you to be attentive. You know, it's like it's not enough. Like when I, especially when I uh, share my thoughts and ideas with other fathers, you know, and how the importance of fatherhood uh, in the family. You know, it's not about. Uh, being there because you could be a father right but children could still be fatherless even though that you're there and how is that possible it's because you are emotionally detached uh, from uh, your family from your children from your from your spouse you're emotionally detached from them so when people talk about a father a fatherless uh child or whatnot sure it could be physical it could be physically uh not there the father's not there but it can also be because that the father is not emotionally there as well what do i mean by not being emotionally present is that you're there but 
all the emotional needs that your family needs, all the all the um, uh, you know the activities that are taking place. You're you're not there, so you're not providing the emotional support that they need. You're not being attentive to their needs. You're not being attentive to uh, the activities that they are doing. You're not sharing time with them. You're not spending time with them. You know, like your child is asking you to uh, to put a puzzle together with them. You're instead of instead of doing that, you're on the computer or you're listening to music or you're outside or you're on the phone or or you're doing something completely different. You're out and about doing whatever instead of being there with them. And the same is true when it comes to your wife. You're instead of paying attention to her and helping her out, you are doing something else completely completely different. Have I been guilty of spending more time on the computer at times? Of course, we we all get that because we get to the point at times where we uh, get so in tune to wanting to do something that uh, we time just kind of you know gets busy with us, and then we're like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, we'll just send um, so and so here, or since my uh, wife or my uh, husband is on the phone. I'll just get on the computer, and they they get off the phone, but we're still on there, you know, typing away or doing whatever we're doing on on the internet. And then that we uh, all along we are forgetting to be attentive and paying attention to the needs of our family. So, so it's very it's very important that that you uh, spend time because. When we spend time with our family, so I'm going to go to the next, uh, when we spend time with our family, and our family, and we be, are attentive to our family, and we do the things that we need to do as husbands or wives or whatever, that family time that we have, you know, brings us a lot of joy. It, you know, there's so many things that, that take place, and, and, study, and study after study after study, and when you, when you do the research, you will find that that the relationships within our family is way more important than any kind of money, any kind of material possession that you have. It becomes more and more important. And this is also very prevalent when you go to a country like the Philippines, because my wife is Filipino, Filipina, so I, I know a bit about you know their family culture. So when you go to the uh, the Philippines, family is super integral to uh, life there, and, er- and everything pretty much centers around the family. You know because they don't have much. You know they don't have the possessions that uh, we have in in America. You know most families there are not going to be that wealthy. Yeah, they got possessions. They they got they got money. Yeah, they got uh, certain things, but. At the end of the day, it is the family, when you come together, that is the most important. And when you, uh, and when, and if you have a family that, that you're not loving very much, yeah, it's going to be very stressful. And you're going to do things that are not going to be very, um, I mean, you're going to have not so great health, right? Because you're stressed, you're, you are being overwhelmed. Uh, by, by anxiety and everything but when you have that family unit that comes together then that anxiety and that and that um, stress that you normally have you know it dissipates because you're around family that you really really care about you know what else does uh, ha- spending time and why is it so healthy for us it's because also when we give our undivided attention to our family, it brings us closer together. And so you can, you can imagine like when, you have, when you're really happy in your family, you're really spending time. Yeah, you're going, there's endorphins are going to increase. The, um, the desire to want to work and to make money for your family, to provide for your family is there. It becomes more increased. Uh, you, there tends to be a very strong sense of accomplishment and as well as contentment and also you're you really are allowing yourself to be uh, 
you really are ha- mentally you are so much happier because there is a there is a, that level of accomplishment that you have. I can speak for myself, you know, having a family that I really enjoy and I really love, and I would do anything uh, for them. You know, it's having that kind of family when you're spending time with them and you're doing the right things. Uh, and you are cleaning the house together. Like like last night, we were exercising together. You know, now my daughter and my wife and I were all exercising, and it was it was a, it was a lot of fun. It was it was great. You know, today we're you know this Labor Day we're are cleaning up the house. You know, you know my daughter's helping clean. Uh, my wife and I are cleaning, and we're doing the things together. So, yeah, we may not be like. Uh, together when we're cleaning but we are like in several parts but we are still together as a family unit doing the things that need to be done to help uh, pro- to help with the family uh, needs and desires so and so this is why uh, when you are when you have a family in a family relationship there it's, it's it's a very healthy thing for you to have so you say, well, I'm single or, you know, I don't have a family. Well, you do have a family. Your family, it will be your parents or it will be your, you know, maybe your, a, a cousin or something like that. But, of course, when you get married, you start having kids, then that becomes your family, of course. So you can just imagine, imagine the kind of why you could, you could, you could I'll say this, you could understand why. When you are married, there tends to be more success with married couples and fam- with fa- uh, married couples and married couples with families than those who are not married. You know, th- so there's more su- success because there's a healthy relationship. There's there's a purpose in, that you have in life. There's contentment and there's accomplishment that all uh, that has taken place. So anyway, I want. This is all I have for tonight. I hope you got great value. If you did, please share this video with other people. Uh, Whether it be on YouTube or Facebook or uh, Periscope or whatever it it is. I want to thank you for being on this call tonight. And if... You, like uh, like always, go to my blog at chatalan.net C-H-A-D-A-L-L-A-N.net and also, you can go get my freebie there. It, it tell you everything, what, what I do, how I do it at chatallen.net slash freebie, F-R-E-E-B-I-E. Tells you everything about me messengers or if you're on the business side, uh, you can go to chatallen.net slash five dash reasons, R-E-A-S-O-N-S. So thank you again for being on the call. We will talk to you on Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday is uh, Weight Loss Wednesday. Friday is pretty much any topic on Friday uh, would be there. So next call would be uh, the exact same time, 8 p.m. on Wednesday. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.